Jinke was lived in the late Warring States period. He was remembered by people because of failed assassination on attempt of Qin Shi Huang. In Warring States period, there were seven leading states, including Qi, Chu, Yan, Han, Zhao, Wei, Qin. In 230 BC, Qin state started to counter other states. Han state and Zhao state were the first two conquered by Qin state. Yan state was Qin's next target. Taizi Dan, the crown prince Dan of Yan state, tried to stop Qin state by killing Qin Shi Huang, the king of Qin state. Jin Ke was the assassin found by Taizi Dan. Two successfully assassinated Qin Shi Huang, Jin Ke said he needed three items a sharp dagger, gifts to Qin Shi Huang, and a helper. Tai Zidan already purchased a sharp dagger made by Xu Fu Ren. Tai Zidan covered this dagger with poison and tested it by scratching his servant. The servant immediately died after injured by the dagger. Jin Ke asked Tai Zidan to prepare two gifts for Qin Shi Huang. The first gift was the map of Du Kang. One rolled the map, the dagger could hide in the map. The other gift was the hide of Fan Wu Ji. Fan Wu Ji was the military leader of Qin State. He offended Qin Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang killed his whole family and offered a reward for his head. Fan Wu Ji was driven into a corner and had to seek refuge with Tai Zi Dan. So, Tai Zi Dan told Jin Ke he could not personally told their plan to Fan Wu Ji. Jin Ke visited Fan Wu Ji and told him their assassination plan. Fan Wu Ji wanted to avenge his whole family's death, so he wishes Jin Ke a good luck and voluntarily suicide. For the helper, Tai Zi Dan found a person called Qin Wu Yang. Qin Wu Yang started to kill people when he was 13 years old. No one dared to face him, but Jin Ke didn't think Qin Wu Yang was qualified for his helper. So Jin Ke invited his friend and wanted to wait him. Tai Zi Dan doubted that Jin Ke intentionally delayed. To prove his loyalty, Jin Ke gave up waiting his friend and went to Qin State with Qin Wu Yang. On the day of departure, a crowd of people throw a very well ceremony for Jin Ke besides Yi Shui. Jin Ke's close friend Gao Jian Li, no, Jin Ke had no chance to come back. He cried and saw Feng Xiao Xiao Xi Yi Shui Han. This means the cold wind blowing made Yi Shui really cold. The hero had no chance to come back. When arrived at Qin State, Jin Ke bribed one of Qin Shi Huang's favorite military, Meng Jia, to seek a chance to meet Qin Shi Huang face to face. Meng Jia did. Qin Shi Huang loved Jin Ke's gift and decided to meet Jin Ke. On the big day, Jin Ke and Qin Wu Yang came to Xian Yang Gong, the Xian Yang Palace. Jin Ke brought the box having Fan Wu Ji's head. Qin Wu Yang brought the box having
having the map and dagger. When they came to the stairs of Xian Yang Gong, Qin Wu Yang was too scared to continue. His face turned to white and started to tremble with fear. Jin He had to face Qin Shi Huang only by himself. As the emissary of the king of Yan state, Jin He came to the front of Qin Shi Huang's desk, put the map on the desk, and rolled the map to the end. Suddenly, Jin He grabbed the dagger hidden in the map to stab Qin Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang quickly moved back and avoided Jin He's attacking. When Qin Shi Huang started to run, Jin He lost the best chance to kill Qin Shi Huang. Eventually, Jin He was killed by Qin Shi Huang's guard. After assassination was failed, Qin Shi Huang sent Wang Jian and Xin Sheng to attack Yan State. After Qin State Army destroyed most part of Yan State Army, the king of the Yan State killed Tai Zidan and shoot for peace. Qin Shi Huang didn't accept, but because Qin army planned to attack the Wei state soon, so Yan state temporarily survived. Finally, Yan state was the fifth state conquered by Qin state.